Good morning and welcome back to another episode of the 5am Broker. I hope you're all having a lovely start to the week. Um, something which happened um, in one of my recent paddles, something which is a little bit, you know, mind-blowing for me. It's kind of like, um, uh, if you've ever seen that movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, and uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, he escapes the island on sea turtles, mate. And anyway... I was out training, um, there was this seal, and he was uh, swimming around, giant, great big, huge seal, as he comes up and has his breath, you can just see his great big, huge body coming out of the water, and then there was a whole bunch of dolphins around, chasing some of the salmon, I think, that was in the water, and anyway, this seal was a little bit interested in what um, my training partner and I were doing when we were paddling, and, you know, going in and out off the shore, and Anyway, he's decided to come along and have a big swim out in front of us, and he, he created this wake, like a wave, from the size of him as he's just going through the water. It's just this massive wave that he's created, and not massive as in, you know, it's breaking. But anyway, because I'm on this great big, huge, long ski, the, the wake was big enough for me to actually just sit and ride on the wake of this seal. And I was just like, what is going on? And I said to my training buddy, I was like can you see this? And anyway, it was pretty awesome. The reason why I'm sharing this story is because when I'm out here and I'm in the water and I'm, you know, always, always wanting to be on the water, I have all of these amazing interactions, which just, you know, they blow my mind, whether it's actual sea turtles or seals and dolphins or whatever other marine creatures are around. Um, yesterday, I think I uh, was um, given a little bit of a love tap by something that was a little bit less friendly. Um, anyway, I have these amazing interactions and amazing experiences on the ocean. And me personally, I'm very conscious about our environment. I make sure that I, I do my re my part with recycling, blah, blah, blah. And when I see plastic on the beach or on the ground, I, I generally always pick it up unless if it looks like it's diseased and disgusting. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should pick that up if I'm just going for lunch or something. Anyway, I do my part. Um, what is it? Lane Beachley's um, uh, 10, pick up 10 pieces as you leave the beach. I love all of these concepts. I love um, all of the organizations that are doing something out there. I love that uh, people are proactive in trying to protect our ocean and the beauty of our ocean. And that's the story that I'm getting at because just recently we um, uh, have been working on a little bit of a concept it's something where I, I realize I'm, I'm very passionate about ocean conservation. I want to do my part, but it's very difficult. I, I don't have a lot of time to volunteer. I don't have the capacity to, you know, go and research some sort of solution to a problem, create a product and then launch a product. And, and, um, and so the way I felt like I can best contribute to ocean conservation is by giving back. And so we've just announced through Fordable that we're committing and pledging um, a, a revenue. Every month we're going to be donating to two charities that we've identified that I feel are, like uh, are doing an amazing job. And one of those is Sea Shepherd. Um, they do an amazing job. They're always trying to protect the ocean in all different ways. And then we've got the Great Barrier Reef Legacy who are trying to, I guess, preserve or ensure that our coral and, and our coral reefs have some chance of survival. And so basically what they're doing is they're um, taking small fragments of coral, they're putting it into a, like call it an aquarium or a bio bank and they're growing it. And then every six to 12 months, I think it is that coral um, is then um, uh, split and then grown again. So they're just trying to uh, get their hands on the coral that's remaining before it becomes extinct and give it a chance of survival, which I think is just unreal because the last thing that I would want to see happen is that something like the beautiful coral reefs um, are completely dead and there's none, none left for our future generations to enjoy. So um, it was a really exciting couple of weeks and, and I guess months of planning and trying to determine how I can make a change and have an impact 
and this is what I came up with and this is what we've launched and this is what we're running with. So what does that mean? For every client that comes to us and gets us to help them with their home loan, not only are we helping them put a roof over their head, but we're also helping to protect the home of the ocean and all of the beautiful creatures and marine life that are in it. It's a very, very um, rewarding feeling to know that we're contributing, but then also for our clients, we're, we're really, really maybe a little bit too excited on our side to share that our clients, those who come to us, are actually contributing as well. And we hope that those clients get some satisfaction knowing that they're contributing in a positive way to the health of this planet. Anyway, that's this morning's um, share. Uh, good news week. I hope that the intro wasn't too crazy with all my talk about the ocean and all the creatures, but that is what I love doing. That's where I love being is out on the ocean, whether it's paddling, swimming, any sort of aquatic sport, sailing, the whole lot. I love it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this little share. Have a great week. I'll speak to you soon.